Howdy folks, Ken here with Dominion, all the wind out here today, I'm not really sure these videos will work out the way I want it to, but I uh, pulled up on the same set I've been hitting for the last little while, and it, I got a beaver tail sticking out of the water and it looks pretty big, so the same set here that has been getting all the attraction that's gotten all these mud holes mud pies added to it that I added a bunch of sets around to try and catch all these beaver I had a first night snare necktie on that uh, that beaver and I've had a beaver in this set the main attraction two nights in a row now so let's get in here and pull this out and see what we got Another decent sized one. This place is pretty big for a pond, and we've been doing really good in here. So, this clears almost 15 beaver out of this one hole. So, we'll keep it up. I'll get back at you guys if I have anything else today well didn't have anything else today but I figured I'd add on the end of this video my drowning setup that I use on my drowning rigs I've been using a lot of these KO beaver extremes and I've got a half a dozen Montana number fives you can see the difference here in the base plating and that really affects how your catch is. So I'm gonna base plate these Montana number five instead of having catches stuck all the way up here. There's no pan tension on these and these are pretty pretty rough here. So it's full commitment here a lot of times, but I catch a lot of good animals in here with full commitment, but I catch toes in these from time to time that I don't catch here. And uh, some guys online had suggested that it was probably the fact that it wasn't base plated so I'm going to modify those and fix those up, but I've got all my water traps set up with these hags drowners or hags brackets, depending on what kind of trap it is. That's the universal drowning lock there. These are really great products. And if you guys are interested in having a quick drowning setup that is easy to maneuver with and deal with, then that's the best way to go. But you can see here, I use these 10 foot pieces of rebar that I carry on the side of the buggy here. And I've had different types of locks that I've put on these in the past, but I just recently moved to welding two little links of American number two chain to the end of it. You could probably do just as easily get away with one, but I like having them both on there. <clears throat> and you can take the hags bracket that's on the end of your trap here and thread it over the end of the rod there and set it up where it'll go down and not come back up. I mean, you're not, it doesn't matter what you do, you're not coming back off that. And to lock it up so nothing comes off of it, I have these eighth inch quick links that go on here. And you can run once you tighten it down pretty good, you can run a 3 8 rebar stake through, through the end of the quick link. So, if you don't have any 3 8 rebar, you can always add a 3 16 quick link here and just thread it through the 8th and then run your half inch through there. This is a pretty cheap setup two quick links at most maybe one if you've got enough 3 8 rods and two links of chain 
weld to the end of your 10 foot rebar rod and you've got a setup that's cheaper than anything else you can do right now and it works real good real fast comes on and off like I said these hags brackets here these hags universal locks they'll work for half inch rebar or 3 8 rebar or 1 8 wire and then your number 9 11 14 whatever kind of wire you use if you're using sandbags or anything like that so that is the killer setup that's what I'm catching all these beaver on right there and it works out pretty good the other end of them you either have a washer or a nut in some cases I prefer at least 10 inches from the end of the rod but a little higher than that's okay too but I wouldn't want to go underneath that I've had some where I, I put them on a little too short and then you don't get as good of a dig even if you dig in past this point the beaver goes down to the bottom to where that point is and stops so unless you're in some really solid clay they're going to be able to get it further down there and the closer to the end they get it the more it come off so I recommend 10 to 12 inches from the end of your rod and then this setup here Hags brackets aren't too bad 25 something dollars for a dozen add them to the end of it just maybe two dollars and fifty cents if you go to the regular hardware store to get these parts or if you buy them in bulk by the dozen or by the hundred you get them down to less than a dollar twenty five for that setup so if you're looking for a quick easy setup to be able to get busy doing work getting rid of beaver that's the way to do it rebar is pretty cheap at least not as cheap as it was a couple years ago but it's a lot cheaper 10 foot or 12 foot fiberglass rods sometimes eight foot's just not enough to drown an animal here so you need at least 10 foot or more i might even set up some 12 foot rods for some of the other spots that are a little more shallow i need more linked but uh that's the drown setup had the one decent beaver today and a setup just like that and with a little bit of good smells and a setup like that you'll be catching beaver in no time dominion out